in an unusual attack. Iran has hit alleged militant targets in Pakistan. Iran calls the targets as bases of Cher Shaladil, which is a U.S. designated terror organization and it largely operates across the border in Pakistan. Now, they have in the past claimed bombings and kidnapped Iranian border police and the attacks were carried out by Iran's paramilitary revolutionary guard, which is headed by the Major General Hossein Salimi. Now, Iran claims to have struck two locations of Pakistan-based terror group in Balochistan, which has a long border with Iran. Now, on the other hand, Pakistan has strongly condemned the attack, which killed two children and injured three others. It has also called the attack unprovoked and further warned of serious consequences as it summoned the Iran's charged affairs. Now, the attack came even as Iran foreign minister was meeting the Pakistan caretake prime minister in Davos on the sidelines of World Economic Forum. And, well, the attacks come just a day after Iran attacked Iraq and Syria, which further raises tensions in the Middle East. My colleague Rishabh is joining us live to give us the details of what exactly has happened. Rishabh, shed some light on the situation currently where we are seeing that it was in fact an unusual attack with Iran hitting alleged militant targets in Pakistan. Well, definitely. If you see uh, late last night, uh, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps claim that it has conducted airstrikes using drones and ballistic missiles at two locations in Balochistan. And as per IRGC, these locations were the headquarters of Jesh al-Adl. What Jesh al-Adl? Jesh al-Adl is a terror organization that operates majorly uh, in the Balochistan area of Iran and has been active since 2002-2003. And there have been major attacks that have been carried out by, the, uh, by this group. Apart from that, India believes that this group was uh, the terror organization that abducted Kulbhushan Jadav from Iran and brought him to Pakistan and handed it over to the dispensation there. Uh, now Pakistan has come up with a counter statement saying that this was an unprovoked attack and there are number and numerous uh, channels open between in Iran and Pakistan uh, through which this could have been communicated and the attack could have been avoided. The charge day affair, remember, Iran does not have an ambassador in Pakistan in Islamabad so the charge day affair has been summoned by the foreign ministry of Pakistan and the foreign ministry claims that the attack has killed two innocent uh, boys and have injured three girls remember similar statement came back in 2019 when Balakot took place where they said that Indian aircrafts attacked uh, an area in Balakot resulting in uh, burning of forest areas back then also Pakistan did not agree that it was a terror uh, uh, you know, a hub where it was attacked. This time also, they are not uh, agreeing that a uh, terror organization's headquarters has been attacked. Major embarrassment coming in for Pakistan as when this news was made okay. public by IRGC, uh, the caretaker prime minister of Pakistan was meeting the foreign minister of okay. Iran on the sideline of Davos, uh, you know, uh, in uh, Switzerland. So definitely Pakistan now uh, coming right. up with counterclaims, but Iran is very clear that we have attacked and destroyed the headquarters right. of Jash al-Badl.